Cheers, everybody. Excited with this one. Welcome to another beer review. We've got another brand new brewery um, to me. This was picked up at Lamlo Lamplight in Coxo. And we have got a West Coast IPA. Now, I haven't had a West Coast IPA. It feels like I've never had one for ages on this channel. Um, and we've got... We're going off to Stourbridge in the West Midlands. And we're off to Green Duck Brewery. And they've teamed up with Brew York, which, you all, which we all know and love. And Bath House, Bath House X. Now, Bath Arse... Ars Hex X is um, a hop company. Um, I think they're owned by Germans. Uh, they're based in the southeast, and they help support brewers with, you know, supplying of hops and any issues they have with their brewing. They've got a team that goes around helping brewers out as well. Never heard of them before, so. <laughs> Um, we've got a can of Long Boy. What a great looking simple can. There you go. Clock in at 6.2% ABV. There you go. There's a back side. I'll just read what it says on the back. It says part of our 10 year anniversary. Um, we teamed up with the awesome Brew York. Long Boy is named after famous York duck. Google it. Well, I go to York regularly, but I've never heard of the duck. A classic West Coast hopping profile. Uh, a classic West Coast hopping profile in the cold IPA style. Super clean, plenty of bitterness, grapefruit flavours. Um, they haven't... Uh, what they've got, Citra. Um, they've got Citra mainly in this. The pale, the malt is light Munich. And malt, and we got Citra in the, in the main. And we got dry hopped with Citra again and Chinook. Um, yeast is Blitzy Lager Yeast. Sounds interesting, this. So let's crack it open. Never heard of this brewery before. Um, and it's always exciting. Always exciting when you have a new brewery. Can't get much from the... I'll just pour it out because it's a bit... It's got to like shot its bolt a bit. And we will have a look and see what it's all about. It looks okay. It looks very westy to me. Yeah. Slight haziness to this. Um, there you go. It's more or less at room temp, this beer. Um, yeah, there's a haziness in there. It looks great. Thinning head. There you go. Let's get a whiff. Yeah, you get orange rind. Nectarine, that type of thing. It's a grapefruit, the aroma. I'm gonna go in. Looking forward to this. Cheers, everybody. West Coast is the best coast. Yeah, when you have beers like this, it's great. There's a lot going on, a lot going on in it, but it's great. You get that bitterness, that sharp bitterness, and it's, yeah, it's there. Going again. Front end, grapefruit, pine, wallop, orange rind, nectarines, for me. Mouthfeel is smooth, slick, oily even. On the back end, on the back end you get the pine note, then you're tasting the building blocks. This is gonna sound weird. You're tasting the malt build on that back end. A start hint of biscuitiness, maltness. Well, on the back end, hints of grass. It's lovely. It's lovely. It is. It's 6.2. You don't pick any of the alcohol up whatsoever. Very hoppy. And it's fantastic. It really is. And it, 
sometimes when you do this channel, you, you when it comes to beer styles, you, you tend to, um, what's the word, fall into a little bit of a furrow and you start to do the same, you know, talk about New England. I've done, I feel like I've done a shed load of New England. It feels like you've gone like, gone into a load, you know, into plowed your own furrow and you're just stuck in a rut sometimes when it comes to beer styles. But I have to say, it's it feels so refreshing to me to have a West Coast because I haven't, it feels like I haven't had one for ages. This is a little cracker. It's lovely. I'm intrigued by this brewery. I'm going to have to find out a little bit more about them and get some more beers from them. This is fantastic. Well brewed, well crafted. Like I say, an oily, slick mouthfeel. And it's fantastic, it really is. Um, there's nothing much more to say about it, but you have to go out and try it for yourself. It's it's a good, a good example of its style, in my opinion. And it's a great looking can, isn't it? Look at that duck with the party out on, celebrating 10 years. 10 years, and it's taken me 10 years to try a beer from them. Hopefully it won't be another 10 years until I review another one. Um, so this one gets a big thumbs up for me. Long Boy, West Coast IPA, big thumbs up. Yeah, good, good beer. Thank you very much for watching this one. Please subscribe, put them in the comments. Bib, bib from me. Cheers.